Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the displacement diagram for uniform velocity. So let's get started. Now in order to draw the displacement diagram for uniform velocity, I would be assuming some data like for example, I will take the height of follower travel here and that height I am assuming it to be 6 centimeters. So this is the distance covered by the follower also called as lift or stroke of the follower. Then I would be drawing horizontal lines, light horizontal lines. So here is the lift or stroke of the follower. Next I would be assuming the out stroke or the angle of ascent also called as the upward motion of the follower. Angle of ascent also means the angle turned by the cam also called as the out stroke. So here I am again taking it as 6 centimeters. So this is the outstroke and here my assumption is that this outstroke is 60 degree. So I have taken 6 centimeter. Next I would be dividing this outstroke into 6 equal parts. Taking 1 1 centimeter distance. Dividing the outstroke into 6 equal parts. Then after outstroke that is the angle turned by the cam is 60 degree. And during this outstroke, the follower would reach its maximum position. After that, there would be dwell, that is, the follower is going to rest at that particular top position for some amount of rotation of cam. And that dwell, here I am taking it as 30 degree. And for dwell, there is no need to divide it because the cam or here the follower remains at the same position. So this is the first dwell theta d1 my assumption is that it is 30 degree then after dwell 1 there would be the return stroke and here also I am assuming that the return stroke is of 60 degree and again dividing that return stroke into 6 equal parts. denoted by theta r then when I add up these values it gives me the answer as 150 degree and out of 360 when we subtract 150 210 remains so that is the remaining dwell and for that I am just showing a broken section and this would indicate the second dwell which is for the remaining degree of rotation that is 210 degree. Now how to plot the uniform velocity graph for that lift also needs to be divided into 6 equal parts in the similar manner like I have divided out stroke and return stroke. So I have taken 6 centimeter here dividing it taking 1 1 centimeter division. Now I will just give the notations over here starting from 0 this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Similarly for the lift first 
सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ एंड सिक्सथ नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू प्लॉट इट फ्रॉम द आउट स्ट्रोक फ्रॉम दिस फर्स्ट डिविजन आई एम प्रोजेक्टिंग लाइट वर्टिकल लाइन अपवर्ड एंड फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट लाइट हॉरिजोंटल लाइन दैट गिवस मी द इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट विच इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट नेक्स्ट फॉर द सेकेंड डिविजन अगेन लाइट लाइन लाइट लाइन फ्रॉम टू दैट गिवस मी द सेकेंड पॉइंट एंड सिमिलरली इन ऑर्डर आई एल गो ऑन एडिंग दैट इज थ्री एंड थ्री फोर एंड पॉइंट फाइव नाउ आफ्टर गेटिंग ऑल दीज पॉइंट एंड यर इज पॉइंट नंबर सिक्स I'll have to connect them with the help of a line since it is uniform velocity connected with the help of a line joining all the points in sequence So this line shows the ascent or the increasing order of the follower when the cam rotates So when the cam is rotating by 60 degree during the out stroke from 0 to 60 the follower and here I, it is just an assumption i am assuming it to be a knife edge follower it can be any other type of follower as well so at first the follower is at this zero position then it takes the next position at 1 then second with uniform velocity and finally it would be reaching the maximum height in this way this is the uniform velocity motion now once it has reached the top position during the dwell period that is for the further 30 degree of cam rotation follower will remain at the same height so i am just drawing a dark line which indicates the dwell that is the follower is at the same height for the next 30 degree of cam rotation then after that there is return stroke that is the follower will return to its original position that is zero from where it has started and for that also i am giving the notation over here and for simplicity i would be keeping the same notations in reverse order here it is 6 5 4 3 2 1 and 0 so in a similar manner after 6 now 5 would be plotted up with the help of light line and point number 5 i already have this over here for the out stroke same point would be transferred similarly for 4 then 2 and 2 point 1 and 1 finally it will reach up to 0 so i would be connecting all these points with the help of a line now this descending line that is for the next 60 degree of cam rotation shows the follower in the downward position it will return back to its original position so it would start to fall or descend and finally returning to the original position and then for the remaining 210 degree it will remain at this bottom position so i would be drawing a dark line indicating the dwell for the remaining cycle so in short this was a video regarding the displacement diagram for uniform velocity at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it among your family and friends thanks for watching